is the battle now? Where is that, that arena? It's in your mind. That's why the devil wants to get you in your mind. What he does is this, when he comes to you, he does not do this uh, you approach. He does not say, you are stupid. You are unworthy. You are an addict. He comes in the personal pronoun of I. I am hopeless. I am helpless. I am lazy. I'm a failure. Whatever it is, he puts the I into your mind so that you will believe it's you. Let me just tell you this, okay? All right? We are in a warfare and the warfare happens here. The worst thing is this, when you accept it and you start saying it, and you start living it, then the groove, the stronghold becomes even etched deeper. The devil wants you looking at your obedience or the lack of it. He will come to you and say, look at your thoughts. Look at your emotions. Look at what you just said. Look at what you just done. He's an accuser. Okay, and his technique to make you depressed, to suffer all this mental bondage, is to make you focus on your own thoughts, focus on your actions, focus on your performance, focus on yourself. So you go into a downward spiral of depression. It's not your thoughts that give you acceptance before the Lord. It is His thoughts at the Father's right hands that God imputes to you account. His thoughts are like your thoughts because God is no longer judging you based on you. God judges you based on His Son. Amen. Once you put your trust in Christ as He is, so are you in this world. If He is righteous, God sees you righteous. If He is blessed, God sees you blessed. If He's under God's unclouded favor, God sees you under His favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! To the extent you believe the true gospel, to the extent you are prospering in your soul.